Today, we are going to test the actual performance of the M Pencil 2 on the MatePad 11. As a digital artist, it is important to have a reliable tool that can help us to be more efficient. If you are an artist or just planning to be one, let's find out if the M Pencil and the MatePad 11 are the right tools for you. The M Pencil is made of plastic. It is smaller and lighter compared to the Apple Pencil one that I am currently using. Honestly, the M Pencil is more comfortable to use because of its weight. It can charge magnetically on the MatePad. And since this is a plastic, it can easily get scratched. So better get a silicon case for extra grip and protection. When I first got the tablet, there was already a screen protector or tempered glass installed on the screen. Upon testing the pen for the first time, the first thing that I noticed is the zero jitters. Like, I couldn't even make a straight line. So, I go ahead and replace the tempered glass with a matte screen protector. There was a huge improvement with the pen performance after removing the tempered glass. Though there are still cheaters while drawing a straight line, but it can easily get corrected by adjusting the stabilization on the setting. We have a generous selection of note-taking app for this device, but my favorite is the Touch Notes app since I can write an infinite note on this app. The writing experience was excellent, it almost feels like writing on a piece of paper. Everything feels smooth and no latency at all. The pressure sensitivity was great as well. In summary, I can rate the MatePad 11 and the Pencil a perfect 10 out of 10 when it comes to note taking. Now let's go ahead and test the M Pencil and the MatePad for drawing. I use Ibis Paint for this review and I adjust the stabilization to 5. The pen works perfectly fine even after a few hours of use. It is very comfortable to hold and the pen is very responsive. I did not feel any latency plus the pressure sensitivity is working great as well. Though the palm rejection doesn't work 100% all the time, but it can easily modify on the setting. You can set the setting if you want the tablet to ignore the palm or your fingers and detect the pencil only. My verdict for the M Pencil on the MatePad for drawing is 8 out of 10. Yes, there was a noticeable jitters while drawing a straight line, but it can easily get corrected by adjusting the stabilization on the setting. The pen was responsive and comfortable to use as well. The battery of the M Pencil is also decent and it can last you 8 hours before you need to charge it again. The MatePad 11 and the M Pencil 2 is a perfect combination if you are going to use them as a digital art tools. Though the Apple Pencil is still superior, but I can confirm that the M Pencil is close enough. If you are looking for a perfect alternative to iPad and the Apple Pencil, well, the MatePad 11 and the M Pencil can be a better choice. If you are liking this content so far, you can like this video or dislike. You can also subscribe to this channel if you wanna get more updates regarding the MatePad 11 and the M Pencil. Have a great day everyone and thank you again for dropping by.